Over the course of this academic year, I've been working with the fantastic teaching staff at Marlborough Boys School in central London. And part of the work that we've been doing over the years is unpicking some of the ideas in my research, Mark Plan Teach. And in this video, you're going to see the teacher discuss what they did next as a result of the teacher training sessions. So we're unpicking here how they've translated the idea and adapted it to suit their own classroom context and their own subject specialism. And this is what great teaching requires all teachers to do, to translate lots of ideas and apply it to suit their own wisdom. Take a look and see what they have to say. Yeah, we can see. Okay, can everyone see my book? Yeah, we can see, perfect. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> um, so the method that I'm talking about that we got from the last session was the kind of green box method to use for uh, like feeding back and also feeding forward. Um, so I think this method like lends itself really well to getting students to focus on like a specific skill, um, which often if you just get them to redraft like a large bit of writing, um, they don't, they're not very good at identifying where they haven't done what you want them to do um, and picking the bits that really need redrafting. So most of my feedback lessons are normally kind of based around one skill um, or two skills. And here it was on making sure they had really developed arguments through uh, like clear points at the beginning of their paragraphs and powerful introductions. And also making sure that they're like really zoomed in on words that the poet had used. Um, so I kind of modeled this and gave examples of misconceptions and good examples. And they also had a kind of checklist of what absolutely everyone needed to have included. But then where the green box came in really handy is it basically meant I was able to identify kind of one paragraph uh, where the student kind of hadn't done these things, which I wanted them to redraft so that they could move forward in their learning. Um, excuse the writing, it's very messy, but um, in this, I'm not going to read it all, but you can vaguely see that he's actually got quite a lot of quotes um, here and actually his understanding was really good and he had kind of explained how his quotes linked to his point which was about uh, the struggle that uh, the person in the poem had with their kind of cultural identity um, but he hadn't really zoomed into these words and considered like why they'd been used so based on that and the green box he then redrafted, again, very horrible writing. Um, but here we can see if I start reading from around here, he's written, uh, the word beneath implies that the relative may uh, think lowly of her accent, possibly explaining why she kept it beneath the bed, um, perhaps to try and hide it away from the world as she thinks people would discriminate her for it. And then continuing on the next page, Um, he's written, the speaker says the lock was rusted shut by hours of elocution. The verb rusted, meant to be, implies she has tried to hide her voice for a long time, as rusted metal is usually seen as old. Uh, this could perhaps mean she has been pressured into accepting this foreign country's culture um, and shutting out her native accent, uh, causing the imaginary lock to be rusted shut. The verb rusted could also... Uh, means something has started to become ineffective. So perhaps the lock is rusting and will eventually fall off, allowing her to express herself. So you can see there that he has then very much um, zoomed into his words. He also did begin with a clear point, although I didn't read it to you. Um, so he's kind of ticked off these things. And this student was probably in the lower end of the class. Um, but I think the green box also means it can be quite differentiated because you can give them an extra challenge list and the boys who are doing these already can focus on their green box area to actually just make sure they're doing the challenge task as well. And actually in this case, we can see at the end, he was thinking about multiple ideas to do with this word rust. So he had kind of challenged himself in his learning um, and had ticked off one of these as well. So basically just a summary, I think the green box method or highlighted box method is just a very good way of giving them like a set 
area which they should be focusing on one or two skills in. Um, and that is basically it from okay. me. So I'm going to try and hand back over. I don't know how I do that. Uh, we'll um, work that bit out. Maybe just yeah. to your screen. But yeah, that's very good English. Off to a very good start. Top marks. And I have to commend you on your brilliant use of your visualizer. So well done. Um, so without repeating what's just already been shared, I guess just something to English, maybe just put something in the chat box, a subject where notoriously your workload is really, really high in terms of that written feedback. So I guess some questions for English just to put back in the chat box for me is, has it reduced your workload? Is it a technique that you'll continue to use? And has it spread across the department? So has it reduced your workload? Will you continue to use it? Uh, and are others using it in the team? And 